Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. So we're on day 28, so we're probably going to be busy with the last event today, as well as finishing up with our crops, planting new crops tomorrow, so I have a lot of stuff that we need to do. Now, I have been making progress with all this uh, honey, so we've been slowly putting them into uh, mead bottles, which will probably um, be able to upgrade our house later on and get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, I wanted to see what our... Oh, we got Queen, queen of Sauce. Uh, roasted hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Oh, yeah, that's for the fall, isn't it? Uh, in the fall, I think there's hazelnuts. Uh, fortune... Spirits are in good humor today. Kind of unfortunate that there's going to be an event. Uh, or we would have been going fishing at the beach. Um, weather reports... Clear and sunny tomorrow, so it should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and got a couple extra battery packs from the thing. Or like I said with the last episode, I kind of did look into that. We do get a broken version of that. Uh, there's, it's more of an Easter egg if anything. So uh, we don't need that one. We need this one. So we have 14 battery packs. I don't know what really you need them all for, but all right. So we got. Um, what do we got here? Auto grabber. Where is this from? Uh, I can think of your mouth cows, shear sheep, gather eggs. Yeah, that I have that on my personal save. Really handy item uh, for doing that. The only thing that it can't do is basically pet the animals and stuff. But all the other stuff that it, it basically does, which is really handy, uh, and it's from Marnie, so we'll be able to get that later. Um, let's see here, we got tonight around 10 p.m., so we have pretty much all day to do what we need to. Uh, we got some honey, tomatoes, so this will be the last day to harvest all this. Uh, I don't think we get any corn or anything like that, unfortunately, but we did get a few more of these. And the honey, so we'll have to grow some different flowers next season, and we'll harvest these up right now. Got some seeds from them as well. Okay, we can probably plant them next year. Uh, we got quite a bit of them. We got like 11 seeds, so. Uh, Flowers-wise, I think we'll keep the gold one. Uh, we might gift that to somebody. I don't know if actually gifting a higher quality one is better for a relationship.
right, so we're here. We're at the uh, the beach, and um, apparently today's where the jellies do their thing. So we send out that little raft. Uh, we've seen this, I think, in last year, possibly. I can't remember. There's two two thing like two events, one during the winter when they come back, and one when they leave. So um, they send out this little raft with a light, and they kind of come in and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, let's see if we can't get this ready to go. Go into the cutscene. I like that all of our uh, <laughs> things just appeared. <laughs> Looks like we got some pretty good stuff as well, like those glasses we can turn into refined quartz. I'll have to come down to the beach tomorrow. Alright, so, um, yeah, so we have some of the jellies that pop up. There isn't really much you can do here, per se, like, for this event, as far as I know. So, it's mostly just like a visual thing. But... Um, pretty cool event regardless. I mean, I like the graphics where it's under the, the water still. It looks really realistic when it's like that. And some small ones. The nice thing about events is it puts us back at the house after so we don't have to travel all the way back different ones showing up as well. Quite a few of them, isn't there? <laughs> Alright, so... Tomorrow will be the first day of fall, so we have a bunch of stuff that we need to do tomorrow. Um, oh, we got one of those gems too, good. I've been collecting these ones, uh, so we can slowly put together um, a collection. I still need to refine some of these before we go to bed. Actually, yeah, we should probably just go to bed. <laughs> it's like almost one, so I think we pass out then. Don't want to pass out, that's for sure. So we did get quite a bit of um, stuff from our farming. So we got cheese is worth actually a lot more now, um, as well as, uh, let's see here, the mayonnaise. Now the reason why is I got a perk for selling it for like,
Okay, so what we got is uh, all our stuff actually done. We are finally caught up on the honey now. So we just need to work work on that last one and then we can start going back to the wine. Um, what else do we do? We got some seeds made that I was wanting to make. I planted all the crops and got quite a bit of them so far so that's good uh the corn should be growing pretty soon um but we have some tending to our animals uh we, we are getting apples now so um i can't remember if we needed apples for something i thought we needed like five apples or something for something but like the community center maybe i don't know if i did the thing already though so it's still on half a heart actually have a duck egg today too there we go all right so what I'm gonna do with the duck egg is, is I'm gonna incubate it and then we'll be able to hatch another duck that will take like a few days to do though so and just fill that up that's perfect all right so I did tend to you yep okay and it's pretty sure I got everyone down here. That looks like everyone's happy. That's good. All right, so let's go to the cows and we'll tend to them. Uh, I did milk the goats. I think, can't remember if it was the other day or not. Nope, we can milk them today. All right, and then there's the other goat over here. Oh, we got a large goat milk. Good, we needed that for the community center. So we can set that up today. Uh, put that in there. Oh, good, we got our barn upgrade as well. So this is all automated now, so we don't need to worry about feeding them. We just need to worry about, like, literally petting them and stuff like that and harvesting the things. Unless we have, like, an auto harvester, and then it would we could use that, but at the moment we don't. Uh, which means we also can purchase some new animals as well. I think we have pigs and sheep unlocked now, so we'll be able to do a couple things with those. We'll see if we can't purchase a couple today and get that all sorted out. Now, um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab one of these and we'll go quickly over here. And oh, she's not here yet. Yeah, we'll just pick up that on their way. Uh, we'll wait.
right, so we're having that art show from that Leah's basically hosted that we suggested a while back. So I thought I would pop in and just kind of show this at the tail end of the episode. But um, all these different sculptures, there's many of them. And um, looks like the whole town is here, actually. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, there's that guy over there as well. I guess that was his or her boyfriend. Um, uh, I remember that um, there was a cutscene that we didn't actually get to see this time around. Um, we were supposed to be out in a date. I don't know if that's if it's after this or not. Maybe I don't, I can't remember. Uh, let's see here. Anyhow, um, you know what, uh, we're running a little bit out of time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.